Right, so I'm going to start using an expanding film along that joint, along the bottom of my log cabin, as you can see, using the Screwfix No Nonsense branded uh, expanding film. Quick guide on how to use it. So the area that you're going to be putting your expanding foam into needs to be moist, mildly moist. So I've got some water in this uh, squirty bottle. Now expanding foam is like shit to a blanket. It will stick to absolutely everything. So if you want to put some gloves on, put some gloves on. Don't wear your best uh, three-piece suite if you're doing this. Right, so all they're going to do is go around, get it wet, get it moist. There you go. Don't want no dust particles or all like that. Try and keep dust and debris down to a minimum if you can. Right, so that is all nice and wet. So I'm going to get my expanded foam and now we're going to fill that wall. So there's your little straw that you're going to need. Pop lid off. It does come supply with some gloves. Throw that away. Swizzle that on the end of there, look, and you'll know it's on because you'll not be able to tighten it up any further than that. Have you got to shake this up? Just like that. Right, so when applying your expanding foam, you don't have your tin this way, it goes up so the foam can come out of the tin. So you want to be up like that with a nozzle at the bottom. And then all I'm going to do then is go along that joint in there. Fill in the hole as much as you can, or as much as you dare to. Don't forget, this is expanding foam, so it will come out, it will expand. So, just be cautious on that. Oh, look how quick that comes out. There you go. Now when it expands, it's going to go on everything, it might come out, it might come on top of there. The temptation is to get it off straight away. You don't want to do that, you want to leave it. I'd leave it for 24 hours if you can, as long as possible. Let it dry, let it cure. Then all you've got to do then is get a knife, cut it back or peel it off, whatever you need to, and it'll come straight off. Do not get a cloth and rub it down. Just like that's fell on that concrete then, what's tipped off the end of that nozzle tempting thing is to do is to get something and try and wipe it off it'll just smear on it and that'll be even harder to get off if we leave that to dry and cure for 24 hours let's say probably take less than that it'll just pop straight off no issues no problems whatsoever so let's fill the rest of these holes in and uh, we'll see how it expands and see if we need to top it up I'm going to do the front of this building and the back of this building, so let's crack on mush. Right, so there you go. That's what it looks like currently after about an hour of expanding, doing what it needs to do. It's still still a bit tacky on the outside, look. A bit like candy floss. Do not start working on it while ever it's like that. It needs to be fully cured, fully hard. I'll show you what it's like when it's hard, but I can't imagine it's gonna expand any more than that. Uh, so best thing to do with any expanding film is like I've said several times now, if you're not listening, leave it. 24 hours later. Hey up. And welcome back. Right, so you've left your expanding foam to harden and go off. There you go. Now this has been in for a good 24 hours, but just read your instructions and I'll give you a time scale as to how long you need to leave it before uh, you can work with it. So what you want to get is something to trim the expanding foam that's come out too far. So obviously I'm going to be wanting to cut that flush with that. So you can either use something like this, an axe or blade, which is great. So it'll just cut through that like uh, a hot knife through butter. Or you can go in your kitchen and get your knife block out. You can choose which one you want. You can either use bread or you can use a big sharp one. 
Like that one. Or I can use a long sharp one. Don't really matter. So, use your personal preference. I'll show you how to cut it with the old axe and I'll show you with a knife as well. So let's crack on. So all you wanna do, start at the beginning. That would be a very good place to start. Just put a nice little sawing motion all the way along. And there you go. Chop, 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 chop. And then let's take that all the way along. Get a few bits that's been left in there. Nice pass again, and just break it off. There you go. That's the finished product down there. Cut myself nice off. Look at that, ready for my panel to, to go on the exterior panel. That's what you're left with. A lot of excess, but that's what it is. You could always use that because that does have insulation properties, so you can always use that for something else. You can pack it into some walls or some floors. So. You don't necessarily have to throw that away. So, same again. Now, close to where you want to be cutting. Chop it up. Put that back in your knife block. There you go. Pull that off, and there you have it. That is, with a knife, a very sharp knife, there's a lot of smoother finish than that one. Now what you need to do is you finish. Now I'm going to be sticking a piece of wood all over the whole of the bottom of this. But you can sand it, you can paint it, you can plaster straight over it, you can do whatever you want with it. Because expanding foam is the best thing ever invented by man. If you're a DIY person, you'll know what I mean. So there you have it, how to use Expanding form. Alright, see you later. Ta-da.